Alright, hey guys, uh, this is Simply Lyric Videos, uh, and I'm coming to you, I guess that's what I'll say, with a tutorial, because some of you have been asking how I make my videos. Uh, I'd like to start off by saying thank you to all of those video views right there, and my subscribers. I, I really do appreciate that, and it makes me want to make more videos. Uh, if you really appreciate my videos and want more, please comment on my channel. Uh, I've been looking for those. Um, I might say um a lot, but you're gonna have to get over it. So, I'm gonna be showing you how to make something kind of like my Kyoto video. Now I say my Kyoto video not my song. It's not my song. The song belongs to Skrillex and Syra or Syra or however you prefer to pronounce it. Yeah, pronounce his name. Um so sure if that's just my computer or if it's just and if it'll be fine on the recording but anyway um, if you check out this video you see that the lights flash in it um, hold on. yeah it's gonna be retarded right now so um, the lights flash to it uh, you see some camera movement later on um, I can show you how I do that there's also these bars right here so I can also show you how to do that um, the song that I'm going to be using I'll show you everything you need the first thing you need is After Effects I use CS5 uh, I don't want to get any of the updates or updated versions um, if you want to add lyrics this is optional right here uh, you don't need Vegas Pro I just use that for my own editing. Uh, the song I'm going to be using is by Thrice. Um, it's Broken Lungs Adventure Club Dubstep Remix. Um, open up this. What I'm going to do first is I'm gonna hit New Composition. I'm going to drag this over. Uh, I did 30 FPS only because it captures more of that motion. Uh, set this to about five minutes, and I'm just gonna do 720p for now. And it doesn't matter what I never name these, but I'll just call it that for now. Um, make sure background is black, and you hit OK. Now the first thing is drag the music into the comp or into After Effects. So it's going to load that in. Okay, so you see right there. Alright. Uh, first thing we're going to do. One moment. Right now I'm in uh, Photos. Uh, oh, side note. If you don't want to look at the black, because the actual video is transparent, that's what that looks like. So, um, I'm just looking through textures at the moment. Mm, might do a metal sort of texture. Um, I think I'm going to use this. Uh, when I think of this video, I think of more of a bluish color because of the song. I'll let you hear the song.
Alright, so that's the video, uh, or that's the uh, song. Sorry, I got distracted though before. Um, so, if you hit enter, oh, enter, you can rename it. Um, I'm going to call this main track right now. Alright, um, we're going to drag in the metal. So you see that? background texture. Um, I'm in a little bit of a rush right now, so um, I might not be as detailed as I can be. If you hold shift, while zooming out you scroll out um, with the button in between your mouse buttons. Anyway, um, <laughs> and then hold shift to shrink it to aspect ratio. Um, I'm saying um a lot, excuse me. But I am doing you a favor, so yeah. yeah. All right. So, uh, if you want it to be another color, uh, what you can do is you right-click. Uh, you would here, right-click, new, solid. It's gonna open up a menu. Uh, we could call this blue, just because I want it to be blue. to a color I like of blue. Be about there. That's gonna go over. And then you can go over to mode and do soft light or over light maybe. Um, it's about good. I'm gonna go to uh, adjustment layer. I'm gonna put that below the blue. I'm gonna go into effects, type in curves. I'm just going to try to bring down those whites on it. So I'm going to drop it onto adjustment layer. Just going to bring it down just a little bit. Maybe like right there. Okay. Um, you can see the difference. It looks all washed out right there. Uh, with the curves, it's more of saturation. Actually, bring it up a little bit. Uh, some of you were asking how I know all this. I do visual effects on the side. Uh, I'm in film. That's kind of why I do these videos. Because uh, I do motion graphics as well. I do a lot of that stuff. Anyway, uh, so first step. If you want to get this, these lines, uh, these are pretty basic. You're just going to go right click, new, solid. Uh, you can just create a white solid. And we're going to call this audio spectrum. E enter. <coughs> We're gonna right click, go to effects, generate, and we're gonna go to audio spectrum. And it's gonna create these pink lines. Um, to change the colors of those lines, we're just gonna click, bring it up to white for inside color or whatever color you want. Outside color, right about there, white, because I am original. So, anyway, um, X the start point we're gonna bring that back because I want it to cover the entire screen I'm actually gonna do might do right there or something so uh, I'm just dragging these over we can do frequency bands which are each of these dots if you want to add more just bring that up in number uh, we're going to go to audio layer and we're going to go over to main track. And so that's synced now. Uh, if you look at these, or say you want these a little bit thicker too, I'm just going to throw that out there. Shrink these numbers and just turn up this thickness right here. Uh, but I actually kind of like this look. So I'm just going to keep that. Q. 
keep in mind if you are a PC like me. Uh, I think it wiped out the effects on here. Oh, nope. Right there. Okay, we're good. Alright, uh, if you're a PC like me, your computer might be a little slow, so you're going to have to turn down this viewing mode. Uh, it's maybe like a third or a half. I'm about maybe uh, maybe like 4 gig RAM on here, so I'm a little bit slower. Uh, okay, so in my video, you see that it's kind of cut off. What I did was I turned up the thickness. Uh, I created a white line. I can do that right here too. And I right click, go to solid, uh, cut off line, and make it white. Okay. Do this sort of narrow strip. Down keys to go down just a little bit. Just about there, maybe. That's good, I suppose. And then we're gonna undo that and go to audio spectrum. Uh, gonna go to the pen tool. I'm gonna go off to the side and sort of go right down this middle. Sounds easy enough, right? <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to go back. There we go. Okay. Uh, hit M for mask. I'm going to click and subtract. You know what I did? I remember I had this problem. Um, delete that. Well, actually, go over here. Select the mask. Copy it. We're gonna go over to do textures. We're gonna create this as a comp. Um, what I did was Control Shift C. Uh, for Max, it's probably different. I'm going to call this Background. Yeah. Alright. Duplicate. I'm going to bring this above there. Uh, I'm going to paste it into right there. So, one sec. Mask. I'm gonna say, whoop, subtract in it, or add. All right, so you have that line now. Uh, what I did in mine too was I added a glow. You see that glow? I keep forgetting that this is on the computer and I'm you're not in real life, so I keep pointing to the screen with my fingers, and I look like an idiot. So. Uh, glow. We're going to add that to the cutoff line right here, but also the audio spectrum. I'm going to do it on the spectrum right now. That's actually pretty good for default. Um, you can expand the radius if you want to, but it's pretty decent. So, 22. I'm going to do that same thing with this one. 22. And I also blurred it just a little bit. I'm going to do some Gaussian blur. Um, this 
this actually I don't want to do just on the cutoff line it just sort of blends with it all decent <laughs> okay so now uh, I forgot we're doing the flashing lights huh. so I'm actually gonna delete the blue uh, and it deletes it for both of them so uh, you now have that audio if you want the lines to be a little bit bigger because I know it can kind of be annoying when this is like the base and uh, it's not up high enough so uh, you go to maximum height and you just lift that up just to where you want it just make sure it's not too high so you can see it spikes yeah right there So we're gonna bring that down. Yeah, because it was at a oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, as for the color, I know you guys probably want it colored right now, but that's gonna be done later on. Um, it's gonna be synced to the base as I did it before. So uh this video is very long, I realize, but I think it's kind of worth it. So, uh, I keep saying, uh, first thing, we're going to go into effects and we're going to type in bass and treble. I'm going to drag that into main track thrice. And uh, what I usually do is I turn up bass maybe like 50 to 75. I never do 100. Um, I don't know, it just kind of adds to it. I'm actually going to do, well, 50 is about good. So, 50 in base, and then negative 50 in treble. And what that is going to do is make the track mainly bass. So, uh, now we're going to right click go to keyframe assistant convert audio to keyframes and it's gonna create a solid that basically like a tra it's gonna create a, a transparent solid that is the movement for the bass uh, you can delete the right track and the left track just keep the middle or the both I'm gonna rename this bass Open it up to effects. You know, make sure you see that slider. Uh, now we're going to go down to main track. We're going to switch these up 50 and negative 50. So now it's mainly treble. And we're going to do the same thing we just did for bass keyframe assistant and convert audio to keyframes. So all these keyframes, these are movements. Uh, it, when you see audio waves, audio waveform, this is pretty much what it would look like if it were keyframed. Uh, Alright, so we're going to rename this to treble. Uh, delete these channels. Open up the slider in there. And go down reset this and delete it in the uh, main track so that you don't have that boost because I don't think uh, After Effects does a great job with audio so uh, now that we have these movements we can create an adjustment layer this is gonna be for the flashing lights that you see in it 
So you could call this light show, I guess. Uh, this is where it really gets to animating to audio. So we're going to go into, what was it? I'm going to try hue and saturation. I think this is what I did for the other. A little slow right now. Light show. I'm going to drag the hue and saturation onto light show. It's going to open up this menu. Um, should look like this if you spin this wheel. You don't need to touch any of these other options. Uh, just this colorize. I'm going to turn that to zero right now. <sighs> okay. Now we're going to select light show. Hit E for effect. We're going to open up hue saturation, uh, color hue. <coughs> Excuse my voice, by the way. I'm a little sick, so yeah. Uh, bear with me. We're going to hold Alt and select the stopwatch right by colorize hue. And that's going to open up a, another menu. You can delete that code. Uh, and this tool right here, it's a, called the Pick Whip. Uh, we're pretty much going to tell what we want it to do. So we're going to bring it down to the slider for bass. And so that plugs in a code. As you can see right there. So every time it spikes, you're going to see these numbers on the side in colorized hue. They're going to start changing. As you can see. So uh, if I can render this just a little bit. As it moves slowly, I can't help but think how much it would suck if this were to stop automatically. Okay, so just a preview. Yeah, you can see that change in it. Hold on. I can render just a little bit more of it. I really like this song. That's my personal, you know, belief. I guess it's called. Um, I love Adventure Club. Yeah. All right, so here's some more of it. So you have that down. Uh, it's gonna go to the base. If you want it to flash a little bit more, say you're viewing it and it doesn't seem to be working out or like flashing quick enough for you, what we can do is type asterisk two. What it's gonna do is it's gonna take this entire code and it's gonna multiply all of the values that are inputted into it times two. So if it were spiking to let's say 60 or in this case um, be half of this value is that like uh, 68.1 maybe a um, little bit more than that no that might be right anyway um, <laughs> it takes that value and it multiplies it so if I yeah I was right see I'm pretty good with math so 68.1 all it did was it took that value and it multiplied it by two. I might actually keep these colors, except it's going to flash a lot more rapidly because um, everything is changed by two, or you know, uh, multiplied by two. Uh, also, what you can do is if you just don't like the beginning color, you could just type like, mm, say plus, uh, I don't know, like 50 or something but I'm just gonna keep it by like that. If you wanna divide it, uh, subtract it, but I'm just gonna multiply. I usually only multiply or add, so. Okay, 
so that's that. The camera movement. Actually, did I? One sec. Yep, there it is. Cool. Um, camera movement. What I did was I right clicked uh, new camera. You see this menu? Uh, I usually do like 50 millimeter or 35. Uh, 28 on occasion, not very much. But yeah. Anyway, uh, this stuff you don't really need to know unless you know camera. Uh, at f stop, that is, well, f stop and aperture, that's basically depth of field. That is a uh, blur in the background when you're focusing on a subject. You may have seen that in artistic photos. Uh, it's often used. I love using that in film. So uh, I mainly just adjust this if I even adjust this at all. I don't really need that. Is it 5.6? I hit enter. Um, oh, before I do that, I apologize. Uh, I'm going to go over here and what I can actually do is I'm going to select it all except for the treble and the bass and maybe even the song. What I did was I hit control A to select all and then I held control and I select I deselected the ones uh, treble, bass, and main track. So, uh, you have those. I'm going to pre-compose that. Control shift c And I'm going to call this, uh, I don't know, like, FG video, foreground video. Mainly because it is foreground. What is this? Um, ah. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Just pre-compose it all. Because I was splitting up the uh, base from what I had coded it to. Or coded to it. Correction. Uh, I'm going to take these two. And I'll just copy and paste them, I guess. So I'm going to go out of that comp. I'm going to paste those. Paste those, not pesos. And I am going to make this FG video a three-dimensional video. And from there, I can do camera. So everything is set the way I wanted to. It depth of field, I don't even need that for these types of videos. Okay. Um, I'm going to go into camera options. And you see zoom right here. I basically do for this what I did to the others. Um, to the last thing I coded. Uh, I can do treble or I can do bass. I just have to connect it to the slider. Um, if you do treble, it might shake a lot, uh, so I might just do bass. But the thing is, it's gonna seem like it's connected to the color changing. So I might actually change these so that the lights are synced to the treble which might make it more of a party-ish feel. That was my aim with the Kyoto video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I will just delete that part. I'm going to pick whip it to the treble slider. So you see that? I'm going to multiply that times two. Unless I don't like those colors. Colors are these. Yeah. I suppose I can do this times three. It's gonna be a lot of flash. 
flashing. Um, just know the higher in number you go, the more flashing it's going to do, which I might actually just add it. So let's try 50. I just want more of a bluish. My mouse is just lagging like crazy. Right there. Okay. <laughs> That's done. So, I'm going to exit out of there. And I'm going to go over to Zoom, hold Alt, uh, hit the stopwatch. We're going to pick whip to the base slider of, well, just, yeah, base slider. And it's going to bring us all the way zoomed out for some reason. I, as you can see, it's really far. So. Uh, to fix that, we go over and we're going to add. It's always a lot for some reason. Um, nah. You have to give it a lot of room, I realize. Oh, missing a zero, that's why. Okay, so you see that camera movement now. So right now I'm just running it out just a little bit. Or, yeah. Um, doing a RAM preview. You can watch the seconds. Yeah. So. Don't know what I'm doing right now. Just kidding. Didn't know, no, oh nana, na nana. Also, uh, if you have a keyboard with the number pad on the far right, if you hit delete uh, when you're selecting the audio, like the delete by the enter button, not the delete above the arrow keys, but it's like a period and a delete. If you hit that, you can preview the audio so you know exactly where you are at. I'm just selecting a random spot, that's all right now. Okay. So, preview. Yeah. Tried that code before, and that's when it's just to 
testing that out. this is always all the way back and yeah on both sides otherwise it only renders out that part that's selected I've done that a few times and it's kind of upsetting so hmm, hmm. turn that off I don't need depth of field you could just save it as whatever. I would save it right now, if I were you. I just don't want to open up any personal things. Um, okay, so now that I usually put on my logo, or my name. So I can do that right now. I'm gonna do that in FG layer. FG photo or video, whatever it's called. <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm gonna put that on. That is a Disney phone right there. That is pretty amazing. So, uh. think is nice, I guess. Team. They actually call the font team. That's pretty cool. Not really. Um Not too bad. Um, I sort of want to do something with it as far as like text effect. Eh. Yeah. Gonna bring this down just a little bit. duplicate set this layer behind and I'm actually gonna make sure that's selected hit none uh, can make this just make sure it's white and then I will bring this up in size
I suppose that's alright. Glow. Mm. I'm actually going to go in here and I'm going to go to text and I'm going to make a background for it after all. transparency set that maybe to like 50 or so and you could add a glow to the text if you want to I'm not um, see my hair right now be freaking wild my gosh uh disabled thanks appreciate it cool that's awesome okay so I think I might be able to get around that. What I'm going to try to do is animate uh, this outside so that it's kind of beating with the base. The heck? Uh, yes, I understand that you are stupid. Okay. There we go. Effects, slider, size, here we go, he's right there, that's what's up, as they say. send it. Why is it set at zero? Duh. What in the world? together, link it together. I'm wondering
said math. You need to know math and these equations and stuff in order to uh, pull this off. So, oh man. It's like almost too large. So I have to shrink it down. My mouse is so stupid. I apologize. And blur. And now, set this to blur. Now open up effects, uh, blurriness. Man, that will be base times two. It's probably going to have to be more. Or not. Wow. Just rendering rough copy or rough version. Everything is recording properly because it's gonna suck if I have to do this all over again. Oh man. So, so far. is helping you guys out or if you are new to After Effects it's an easy to follow tutorial uh, I hope you're not just copying me I, I'm hoping my style stays original and unique um, but that you can use this in your videos um, I don't know, to attract an audience of music lovers and all that I, you know, have gotten. So, yeah. I will be posting this video. Uh, not sure when. Just because I don't want to make this for no apparent reason. So, alright, so here's a preview. <laughs> the mouse and it appears on the other side of the screen. That's pretty cool. Um, this 
this will be fixed over here. So, I would save it right now. I'm trying to fight myself on saving. Uh, I do 1.5 or 1.25 maybe. Do I even need it? Maybe I don't even need it. Nope, don't. Might actually even subtract. So far, uh, all right. So now that I have that, uh, I'm going to add the title. Broken lungs. Adventure Club Remix and parentheses hyphen thrice. Shrink down the text just a little bit. Yeah, so broken lungs. I'm just spell checking it. Adventure Club Remix. Cool. Okay. So that is that. Um, I'm going to bring these down. So. They are right. Mm. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. It won't do nothing. So, uh, that is it, I think. For, um, right now I'm just trimming. Okay. That's it for that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope it answered all of your questions. If I forget anything, I'll be sure to correct myself, I guess. So please comment. I'd say rate, but it doesn't even matter. I don't even know if it's there anymore. Uh, subscribe if you want to. I'm not always going to be making these tutorial videos, but if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. Uh, if you have any songs you want to suggest, uh, message me. If you want any more videos, comment on my profile, because I just want you to comment on my profile. So yeah, thanks again for watching my videos and supporting me, and I I guess I'll talk to you later, or you'll hear my voice later if I ever do a tutorial again.